Hey Libra, so I'm here to do August energy reading for yourselves. These will be extended. Um, the extenders will be on my Patreon from now on. Um, so if you'd like to join my Patreon site, you can get all of the extenders so you can check on your own, your other people, people you know. Um, you can check your sun, moon, rise and your Venus and I keep telling everybody, it's so important uh, to check your sun, moon, rise and your Venus because you're all them signs, you're not just your sun sign. If you don't know your sun, moon, rise and your Venus, if you Google um, uh, my sun, moon, rising signs, rising is also ascendant um, or ascending. I think it comes up with like Astra Sofa or Astra Cafe. Put your details in and you can get it from there. It's, it's really easy, um, I promise. And if anyone's really struggling with it, if you know your time you were born, fling me a message and I'll sort it for you. I don't mind. So I'm using the Psychic Tarot, Psychic Oracle cards for the main energy of the reading. I will be clarifying these before I go into the extended and as you all know, that's where I dissect the extendeds. Um, I dissect every single card that I've pulled. So, Libra, energy for August. Harmony. Peace, love, harmony and balance. Could be done with Gemini. I've just done Gemini's readings. But it is a six as well. So 2022, I do feel like it is about harmonising energies within your life, whether it be finances, career, love. That's our venture. Um, could be dealing with love. Love could be the heart of the matter. So what's crossing for my Libras? Positive movement forward. So the challenge now, the crossing energy, is to move forward, especially in love, in balance, harmony. That's our venture. It's about moving from the stormy waters to the smooth waters. So you could be feeling like you're still in them stormy waters, but it is that journey for something new, you know. Um, it is an eight, so it is like karmic energies. You could be feeling like karmic contracts are starting to dissolve and you're ready to go forward into the next kind of contract, that type of energy with the eight. And I always say to people, the eight, if you think of the infinity number, the infinity symbol to say, it's number eight. So when we learn our lessons, we're in the lower form of the A. And as we start to learn, and as we start to like progress, we start to move up into the higher circle of the A. So that's why I like number eight, because when I start seeing eights, I know that I'm moving out of a certain energy. So why is this coming round for my Libras? Oh, two minutes. Why is this coming round for my Libras now? Throat chakra, communication, number five, change. So there could be a lot of communication, especially in regards to relationships and things, but it just looks like you want a peaceful laugh. And there could be some conversations that need to come up or you need to speak your truth in conversations. Maybe you've kept your mouth shut and you need to speak your truth in order to move forward. But there's definitely conversations that are significant um, in all this. So in the recent past, we've got recognition and reward. I also feel like not just recognising your own achievements, I feel like you've been recognised. So there could be people around you who've been giving you a pat on the back or saying like, wow, you've done really good in that, you know, that type of energy. Um, if not, I feel like someone is recognising you and maybe um, that will be coming in, you know. Um, maybe that's the conversation. Maybe they'll be saying, you know, I've kind of sat back and watched how far you've come and you know so you could have been recognizing some type of position in your life um and i also feel that spirit are recognizing how far you've come um within all that so at present for my libras balance peace love harmony and balance that's what you want it's the magic number 11 so i feel like you are manifesting balance um in all areas of your life but it's about using the tools using the god-given talents that you've been given because you know, got Archangel Michael there, but he's using all of the elements. You know, we've got air, water, fire, earth, and spirit. It's like the pentagram. We may start seeing pentagrams, actually. <laughs> we may have seen pentagrams in places. Um, but I feel like that's what you're motivated. Well, that's what's motivating you now. Kind of restoring balance. Um, going forward, we've got sacrifice. So... I feel like you're going to be getting to a point where looking at all the things where you felt like you're treading water and it's the best way to kind of get yourself out of that energy is to sacrifice it, is to let go. Um, and I it's a major arcana, you know, so I do feel like you've been going to be put in that situation. But as you let go, as you take that power to step into that and be vulnerable and let go of certain, whether it be, um, you know, things that 
you thought about yourself or it could be letting go of certain situations letting go of people you know there's a massive healing going to take place in the fact that you're sacrificing that and allowing it to be it is what it is um it'll be what it will be you know that type of uh, energy going on with that so your power in this situation is patience Sometimes we've got to slow down and kind of take stock. Uh, I thought we've come as well because sometimes we stop ourselves from taking the next leap in faith going forward because we see things in the past as, well, that didn't work or I'm not good enough for that. I feel like this is where you're supposed to be planting the seeds in order for yourself to blossom or for something to blossom because four, it's a 14, which is a five again, which is about change. And I feel that you've got to be, maybe you've been a bit impatient, believe <laughs> with the changes because the outside influence is love begins which is the ace of cups um so you could be going forward to a new love but you could be going forward to you know something equal starting a brand new stream it could even be in finances uh there could be a move you know but it's about pouring from the same cup and being around people who want the same things you know in life but there's a lot of love there in your hopes and fears libra new beginnings so it could also be a fear and I do feel like it is a hope as well you know you want to shut the doors you want to be able to take that leap forward you want to move forward but then again I feel like it's a fear as well like restarting again or it's the fear of am I strong enough to make those changes in my life and you know because I feel like there's a lot of self-doubt in the past you know the situations may have like kind of sown self-doubt seeds but your outcome is a spiritual union, which can be like soulmates, you know, relationships. Even if you're partnered, it could be like reworking on that partnership and bringing it about anew. Um, so I'm going to get some clarification on this before I go into the extended. So clarify the harmony card. So we've got the page of cups. There could be new opportunities, new people coming in around you. Passes, Cancer, Scorpio energy there. And then we've also got the Six of Cups as well. So there could be a child involved in this as well. Children could be involved in this. Family could be history, you know, like memories from history, memories from your childhood. Um, but it definitely looks like you dealing with the past as well as the present. So what's the throat chakra coming around for? The Two of Wands, so there could be distance or you could be feeling distant, you know. But I feel like maybe you're putting distance in between you and another person or you and another situation i feel like it all changes when we're in this month while we're in leo season could be dealing with leo um but again oh look she's got the infinity symbol there tattooed so they could, there's definitely an infinite vibe about your reading so in the recent past we have got the knight of cups in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse so the page of pentacles in reverse is like no communication it's like things that have gone stagnant um the knight of cups in reverse you know you could have felt like you had a lot of offers or you didn't know which offer to take which one would be the best scenario too many sorry tell me about why the knight of cups is in reverse the nine of pentacles in reverse so the nine of pentacles is the independent card could be in business finances um but i feel like you kind of felt like you lost yourself in the past in certain situations but now you can again in some kind of balance some my Libras could have been bad with finances in the past but at present on top of the balance card magic number 11 you've got the wheel of fortune so it's like something is changing um for you and i feel like it, it's like more like divine guidance because if you look at the card she's got like the dark smoke the light smoke and again that's balanced because you've got to balance the dark and the light in order to get somewhere all these like spiritual gurus that go on about love and light constantly it's it's a blag to be honest um you can't live in that you can't live in that energy it's just not feasible you, you've got to accept the dark that's where the true power is to be honest but then we've got the empress taurus energy so there could definitely be a child around pregnancies um, but i think it's new starts i feel like you're going through a rebirth libra yeah, because on top of the sacrifice card, you've got the nine of cups, which is celebrating your achievements. So going forward, you're going to be celebrating the fact that you've sacrificed something or the sacrifices that you've made in order to get there. So your power is patience. Let me look at your power. Five of swords in reverse. It's to get out of your own head. Um, so there's a lot of like conflict going on in here. You just want to kind of get out of that. So then there's a new beginning coming in. So we've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's about patience 
it's like slowing down and being patient with yourself because then we've got the chariot which is positive movement forward the sign of cancer so all these options in how you move forward or where you're moving forward towards and then we've got this spiritual union as the outcome could be a, um, a new relationship it could be something that needs to be worked on you know the seven of pentacles you know patience again to grow something king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy so you could be dealing with the king of pentacles but we've got the great page of wands i feel like you're going sagittarius leo aries energy there but the page of wands is something exciting it's like you need some excitement in life and that's what you're going towards then you've got the two of cups on top of the two of cups um so if it is a relationship that you're already in it's about rekindling that energy but uh, a lot of my Libras, I feel like you're realising that there's something new. There's something new out there. Maybe you've been single for a while or felt lonely. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. You're coming out of that energy or being all trapped in the mind and maybe wearing a false self mask because truthfully that's how she looks in the mirror. You know, but you're coming out of that energy. And again, it's an eight and it's in reverse. So I feel like you're learning a lot of infinite lessons. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. It's like the blindfold is ripped off. We've got the emperor now. There's definitely a main couple going on because we've got the emperor and the empress, which is the two higher... Uh, well, it's the highest couple in the tarot, you know, and the queen of cups passes cancer Scorpio energy. But the queen of cups is very intuitive, very, very psychic. You, you know, she... I feel like that's your energy. You know, that kind of going with the flow. The queen of cups is more of a go with the flow type of person um going with that flow and getting on top of your emotions i feel like you're going through a lot of sacrifices because we've got the magician aries energy there but the magician is about turning a negative situation into a positive turning metal into gold it's alchemy it's believing in magic again because we've got the judgment libra i feel like you you're making decisions in order to bring some magic into your life so if this is where i leave you i'll leave with lots of love and if i'm seeing you on the extended hit the patreon link and i'll see you all there bye